Oh. Hi, everybody. Tracy with Helmar. <laughs> okay. Why don't I put my hair up when y'all aren't looking? You know what? I gotta move this for a second. It's like in my face. Okay. So, look at I got a I got a necklace on clearance. Can you see it? Wait a minute. I don't know if it looks like a possessed owl or a like a happy owl, but the key word was clearance. Okay. So, and it just really made me happy. Okay, so, um, I took the kids school shopping this weekend. My kids go back to school next week. I don't know if everybody's kids went back to school. Yeah, owls are the thing. I saw a lot of owls, but this one was on clearance, so I had my name. And I think it, it was on clearance because it looks kind of mean and mad, but works for me. Um, oh, day after Labor Day, Melissa, we used to, our kids used to go back the day after Labor Day. Now they grant us with the week before Labor Day, and then the first weekend they're off, they have Labor Day off. It's weird. Um, so, uh, you know, this whole weekend I spent like 20 hours of my weekend with, um, you know, three kids getting haircuts and all that other good stuff. So next Monday will be the first day of school, and I'm on next Monday, too. So... Uh, oh, my school, my my alma mater went back. Michigan went back. Um, so we're going to still be on on Mondays. We might even do some, um, we might do some afternoon shows too. So I'm looking into that. But I put a questionnaire out to everybody, and they really like this time, and it works for me too. And um, hold on. Somebody chatted in the middle of my... Oh, okay, there we go. Somebody's chatting in the middle of my... Okay, everything went haywire. So if if uh, some of you guys are at home and you want to do some during the day um, things, let me know. Because, uh, and I think I mentioned too, I'm thinking about doing some back to, sc uh, back to school journaling pages. Uh, working on my journal pages. I think the last week I showed everybody... My daily inspiration journal that we started in May. Finito. All done. Everything done. I did every single page. So. Yeah, Melissa. Okay, so today what are we making? We are going to make... I taught a class last week and we did the class... Uh, we did a little mini album made out of coasters. And that was very popular. And one of the ladies in the class said... You should make a post-it note holder. So I thought, oh, what a great idea. So I came home and I made a post-it note holder. So, post-it note holder. Okay. So we're going to make that real quick. Super easy. And I used one, two, three, four adhesives. Maybe five. And I am so hot. I hope I don't pass out in the middle of this thing. So I'm going to switch cameras here in a minute. I'm just going to, you know, I really didn't prepare. All you need are two coasters, which if you visit your local restaurants, they are more than happy to donate. Um, but if you guys know me, I think one day I'm going to earn the nickname of Coaster Girl because one year for CHA we did a project and I needed like 200 coasters and there are only so many pubs I could visit and take their coasters before people started to notice locally. So, um, oh, Mom, I'll send you one, Mom. I'll send you this one. Um, so I bought like 2,500 coasters. And if you've ever seen a box of 2,500 coasters, I now have this quest in life to find as many possible projects as I can with coasters. Um, so here is just yet another project I am doing with 20. I think I've done a wall hanging, Tanya. I think I did some cool wall hanging. I've done banners. I've not done a mini calendar. That's a cute idea. Mini calendar. Uh, but when somebody threw out the post-it note idea, I was like, that's a good idea. Ooh, but calendar, that's a really good idea. I have to open this door because if I don't, I might hyperventilate. Okay, so 
So, I don't know if you guys are going to hear the kids or not, but since you, you know, flashcards, that's a good idea, but my kids are a little bit older for flashcards. I'm thinking my high schooler might not want me walking down the road going, you forgot your flashcards. <laughs> I embarrass him as enough as it is. <laughs> Uh, or, you know, remember those cheats? Well, I mean, maybe you don't remember those little cheat sheets. I don't actually remember them. But, uh, you know, I think this is a little too big to have that, like, hiding in your hand or underneath your calculator. <laughs> Flashcards for day. science formulas. I'm not going to, you know, confirm nor deny that. Anyway, so um, that's what we're going to make today. And you know me, I'm going to fly through it. Periodic table. Yes, I will send the periodic table with <laughs> my mom's. An advent calendar. They are four by four. And the reason I know this is because when I teach a class and I've done like over 200 of these things, I have to cut the paper four by four. So really, really good size. And I have, I have a whole box full of these. But like I said, your local restaurants, pubs, breweries, you know, wineries, all use. Oh, I made a banner one year, Janet. We did a banner. That was the first CHA we did. We did a banner. And they were all like this. What did they smell? Uh, spell? The Aussie. Aussie for Australia. Crazy. Okay. So, if you guys think any more ideas, I will take your coaster ideas. But for now, we're going to use just two coasters, and I need some pattern paper. And these are the post-its I bought. They're the only ones I could find, but they're neon. I mean, other than the white one that I use that now my mom has pre-ordered. Hi, Cindy. Um, I guess you could all hire me to do, you know, flashcards for your kids. Um... So the white one I put in this one, but these are like neon pink and orange and blue. So, I mean, um, and I was going to use that paper, but I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit and use another paper. Uh-oh, I hope you don't see my rear end. Um, I didn't really prepare. Okay. Um... Okay, so flowers, buttons, flowers, buttons, ribbons, and paper. That's all you need. Two coasters, flowers, ribbons, buttons, and a post-it note holder. Okay, and I'm going to swing this back over my head, and I'm going to switch cameras. Flowers, ribbons, and buttons. Oh, my. That, those are my, oh, uh, and glue. Yeah, those are my essentials. Okay, and I'm going to try and keep track of the chat. But don't forget, I have my mom who always keeps track of the chat to make sure y'all aren't talking bad about me. Okay. Okay, so I'm... Uh, oh, ow, ow. Yes, that was my head. Okay. So, everybody knows my flower trick, right? Yes, it is, Doris. Basic gray is the question. Or is the answer? This might become my new favorite paper of all time. Not okay. Now I really wanted to match it to these nasty-looking post-it notes. Maybe we'll just use pink. Pink it is. Okay. <gasps> okay, I might have to shut the door because glue dog is um, barking. I don't know if you guys have seen this paper. A glass or bottle of wine works for me. Just a bottle, Dad? I know it ain't just a glass. <laughs> I've seen you before, Dad. Okay. So. Oh, but look at how neon. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. It only takes one sheet of paper because this is two-sided. Did you get that? Okay, look. <gasps> look at that paper. Okay, this is my favorite paper. Oh, what's happening in the Tiger game, Janet? 
Okay, look at that paper. Oh, look at that paper. <gasps> okay, I'm having a paper happy attack. <laughs> oh, look at the back of it. Now it's gonna, I don't like the back of it. Okay, but that's okay. We're going to use it. Okay. Oh, they're winning. Very good. Okay, and, and if you guys can hear the out, um, look at this. This is going to go perfectly. Oh, okay. I love when I don't plan things and they just work out. Okay, so this is our original. Got it? Remember it? We'll probably change it all up. Okay, the first glue we're going to use, what is the first glue that we're going to use that's paper to paper? Bond great. Inexpensive. Hi, Beck. No, nope, Tanya is wrong. Victoria is wrong. Doris is right. Ding, ding, ding. Acid-free glue. It's my favorite. Buy it by the gallon. Okay. La, 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 la. Okay. I taught a class last Wednesday. Great, great fun. I had a super, super good time. And I loved it because they're, they're, they were so glue afraid. And it was great. Oh, uh, this is our glue spreader, which they love that thing too, okay? Okay, I might have put too much glue on here. But that's okay, because I got another one to rub it off too. So all you want to do is spread it around and make sure that you get the end, okay? This is originally a bookbinding glue. It doesn't yellow. Oh, you hear that dog? You hear that dog? Okay. Ooh, hello. I can hear my daughter going, Penny, be quiet. Okay, so we are going to glue. Just make sure you get the edges, okay? That's all I ask. My daughter, I will give you a hint about this acid free glue, too. My daughter built that styrofoam house. And I don't know if you guys have ever done projects with your kids. Um, with styrofoam, it is a pain in, in the styrofoam, in your rear end. Um, it is a pain to work with because when you go to paint it, that styrofoam just sucks everything up. So today somebody was asking me about styrofoam and I said to them, I, my daughter used acid free glue in that whole album. Uh, around that whole house. When you have acid-free glue, you take the acid-free glue and paint the entire thing of styrofoam. We made a cell uh, a couple years ago. My son had a, a cell he had to make. Translation. I made a really great cell and I got an A on it. And you paint all of the styrofoam with acid-free glue. And it's a really cheap glue. So it's not like, you know, you're painting it with $85 worth of glue. And then you cover it in paint and then the paint doesn't sink in. So when we took, uh, my son, when we, when my son took his project in, um, ours was very colorful and everybody was trying to figure out how ours was so colorful. So you just paint the whole thing with acid-free glue and it turns, um, oh, what are we making? Mrs. Fence wants to know what we're making. We're making a post-it note holder out of coasters. Mrs. Fence. Yeho. So, oh, and speaking of which, I don't know why I'm saying speaking of which, I would like any of our Helmar retailers to stand up and take a bow and then sit down because you realize nobody can see you and you look absolutely ridiculous. Um, but if you want to stand up, no, not stand up because we've already discussed, you're going to look ridiculous. If you want to shout out and give your link, and, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever, whatever you want to do, just do it. Um, oh, okay, a couple things with this coaster. You can cut out four by four squares if you know your size of your coaster, but I just like to cut around stuff because, I don't know, I like to. And I'm not even going to round the corners off. I'll show you why in a minute. Oh, isn't that pretty paper? It is pretty paper. I would agree with you. That is basic gray. Okay, and I'm going to use both sides. I'm only using one sheet of 12 by 12 for this. So if you're making, um, look at, I made this little, you can either make this, this is a little album. 
that was one piece of 12 by 12 white cardstock and then one piece of pattern paper. You see, I'm totally cheating right now because I'm not going to even round corners or do anything else. Okay, let's make sure. Look at this corner rounder. Helps to put it the right way, though. Okay. So that's done. Oh, whoops. You do want to make sure you're kind of. But I can sand off the edges because I'm going to distress it. Okay, so this is a quickie project. You know me, quickie. Oh, <laughs> well, you might not know me in that way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my parents are watching. Again, this is a family show, people. Okay, so again, I said something about distressing. Let's get some light on. Hold on. Hello. Let there be light. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to stress this, distress this, I'm going to stress it. Okay, good. Is everybody who's a store owner, I see Scraptastic. What about Christina? Did she already give, yeah, this is um, basic gray out of print. I have to behave every week because I swear to this day I'm 40 <coughs> years old, um, 40 <coughs> something. I think my mom and dad still have eyes and ears everywhere. Just telling you. Okay, good. Christina, good, good, good. So I always behave. Right, girls? Okay. All right. Good. Are we happy? Now I want to use the other side of the paper because that's the side I really love. Okay. So. Oh. Look at I'm covering. I stamped all of these, too when I did the make and take, and now look at me, just covering it up. Um, good marketing. Okay. Okay, so for those of you who buy acid-free glue in the 1.7 ounce size, you'll do that about once, and then you'll realize, oh my god, I love this glue. Somebody, I think somebody on our, one of our designers on our blog said, simple but strong. That's how she described this glue. And that is how I would describe this glue. It was also how I would describe my father. <laughs> right, Mom? Oh, and speaking of glue, Dad, 11 more glue caddies are on their way and ready for shipping. There is like a bunch of orders pending. Those will be going out. We've had to, you know, the one man Geppetto production is, he's been, you know, laboring his rear off for me. So I just wanted to let you all know if you're waiting for them. And there are a few of you waiting for them. I know Victoria being one of them. I bet you she's over there dancing, huh? There we go. So we cannot, you know, they're all handcrafted. Oh, and today, Melissa, can I tell you my glue joke? Melissa wrote today on Facebook that Office Max, oh, Office something. <laughs> so I can say this because I, I can joke about glue. I, I When you sell glue, all of a sudden you have a license. Oh, wrong side. Okay, don't do that. Okay, yeah. A company was having a one cent glue at glue sale. So my... It used to be where I would go stock up on all those glue sticks. I mean, I still, you know, I go out there and I buy the 25 cent pencils for, this This goes back. This goes back to um, when I first started working with Helmar and I, you know, didn't have a warehouse full of glue. But, so, um, oh, this is funny. So when my kids were in kindergarten, okay, we're done with that. When my kids were in kindergarten, you know, I used to stock up on those one-cent glues, you know, one-cent glue sticks. And um, then I started working with Helmar, and so, you know, I got a, like, I used to get a lot of glue in the mail. Oops. And, um, you know, so my kids would say, my mom gets glue for free, you know. And um, I used to always go to, we'd always go to open those glue sticks, you know, I'd take them into class because then I had to get rid of them because now I'm getting glue. So my kindergartner, I had twins in kindergarten, and one of them in the middle of the class says, 
I, I said to her, now don't say anything. This isn't the glue that mommy, you know, uses. But I got to get rid of these because they're all, you know, one cent. <laughs> I got to I gotta use them. And I, I donated them to the teacher. So all the, and I, all the kids opened them up. And I think I donated like 50 glue sticks because what the heck, it cost me 50 cents. And um, so my the kids all opened it. And, and one of the twins said something like, Mom, this isn't your stuff. This is crap. <laughs> like right in the middle of class. <laughs> and they were all dried out. So I was like, okay, you know. <laughs> so now, you know, so now all the kids that are in my my kids' grades, because they call me, you know, like I, you know, I'm the glue mom, you know, if they need glue for a project, I, you know, will supply it or whatever. But, um... I'll never forget that day because they opened all those glue sticks and I had, you know, stacked up on them and they were all one cent. Well, for one cent, they're not going to last for, you know, a year. And I was just trying to get unload them. And they all knew and they all looked at me and I was like, oh, God. So I had to go home and we had to do the project the next day with the right glue. And it was like, you know, 25 kindergartners looking at me like, nice try, lady. So I always say, now you get which way. Oh, okay. But, you know. <laughs> I have like glue snap kids all of a sudden. I just realized that. Not just by the sound of that story. But don't worry, they're still using the five cent pencils that I got, you know, a million of them this year. <laughs> okay. Isn't that pretty? This this paper is just making my day. But listen, moms, I totally understand. I just went school supply shopping and score. Guess what? My son needs a calculator. Okay. Here's my gripe of the week. Okay. Foam brush, acid-free glue, water base. Just stick it in water. Works great. So uh, my son needs a calculator. A hundred and fifty dollars. Hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, I can shut that door now. I can hear SpongeBob. A hundred and fifty dollars. It's a graphing calculator. Can you believe that? Yes. Um, but I got a great deal on it. But I mean, I still like a hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so this is what we have. Super easy. We're gonna just make the cover. I love these. Okay, I like the outside of it. Okay. Um, yeah, I told him there goes your hundred and, you know, there goes your shoes because we got to buy a calculator. Okay, so there's my favorite glue. That has been my favorite glue since day one. Since, and, and by the way, my kindergarten class and all those kids that I've grown up with to this day still say they love that glue. <laughs> um, Okay. Yeah, oh, Christina. Oh, my God. Well, no, no, Christina. Now the calculators, the guy says to me, well, and my bro my son is in a freshman, but he's in a very advanced math, like 10th or 11th grade math, which is good for him. But he says, do you want him to be able to use the calculator for through 10th grade or through college? And I'm looking at him like, what? Uh, no, the price goes up from there. So, anyway. That hurt. That was painful. Okay, so you know what? I sanded the edges. I don't know if you saw that. But I also want to distress the edges. I love that color. It's a purple color. These are my favorite inks. I don't know if you have them. They're the best. Oops. Um, okay. I think I'll go with, I'm going to try this purple first, and then if I don't like it, I'll just go over Oh, no, I like it. Okay, so this is a Marvy Heritage ink pad, and they come in the best, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, I started it now. Okay, change directions. Look at the green color. Look at the teal color. I'm going to use the green color. It's called very something gross, but pond green. I mean, but it is the best. I love, I love these ink pads. Okay. Oh, my God, I love the green. 
My girlfriend just texted me and said, is there a list of supplies? Did you see they have to pay $150 for a calculator? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. But, Melissa, I didn't have to buy any of those one-cent glues. Okay, are these comparable to the distressings, the ones that Tim Holtz makes? Um, if you're asking me what my personal preference is, my personal preference, I have both. Um, I think I use like the Tim. Yeah, here, here's a Tim Holtz. My only thing about these is I think they dry out quicker. quicker. Uh, all of the Marvy ones are refillable, uh, and I love this because they also come in these little little ones. Aren't those cool? So they all and they all stack up. So if you have little spots, I mean that's just a personal preference. I don't know. I don't know how they stack up. Everybody, you know, I don't know. But I really, I I have loved these Marvy ones since the day they released them. And I now ask them, can you please supply me with the refills? Because I need them. Aren't, I mean, isn't that pretty? Okay. So there we go. We got our inside cover and our outside cover done. Um, You know, I'll know me with the flower deal and very cheap. Okay, I'm going to do, rib, uh, I'm going to do, you know, I don't think I'm going to do pink ribbon going across. I think I'm going to do green ribbon. All my ribbons up above. Okay. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do green ribbon. What glue do you use to, we've been doing it long, long enough, girls. What ribbon do I use to adhere? Um, oh, you know what? Look at it. It's a different paper that I use. So, I don't really want to cut up a different paper. So, I think I'm just going to do that. Because I'm cheap. And because... I said so, but I'll do this one. I'll do this side. So what it what adhesive am I gonna cut? Oh shoot! Am I going to? I'm trying to get to my trimmer that's like buried right now. Yes, four fifty. Who wants to be like Tracy? Oh dear God! <laughs> if you do, you're <laughs> aspire to be something different. <laughs> Yes, four fifty. Oh my gal. Girls, you need to have higher aspirations. Okay, trimming that down. My trimmer is so buried, it's hard okay, is that okay with you girls? I could do a whole new paper, which is what I did with the last one. But we're gonna get you know, we're we're covering a post it note, not a gold plated piece of paper, right? So Oh, look at this. That's my that's my mat upside down. Okay. Don't you love it when the teacher just says, hey, 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 this is what we're doing, and too bad. Swamp it. Okay. Oh, look at me. I'm, like, even hiding from the camera here. This is so stinking adorable. I think she's talking about me. Krista, are you talking about me? <laughs> okay. Glue that down. Okay, I meant to glue that down first, but I didn't. Okay, ready? Hey, I, girls, I came up with this weekend, this idea over the weekend. I think we should all give the teacher a round of applause for being prepared for once, unlike her normal M.O. of showing up and looking like a complete moron. Okay, see if you this this thing can cut through. I don't know, fingers. That That is a Zutter cutter, and it is great. You know how long I've had that thing, and I've never used it once. Okay. D d you guys, anybody own supplies that you've owned for so long, you pull it out, and you're like, dang, that thing is great. Okay, that was me this weekend. I was like, that thing will cut through anything. Okay. So where's that green ink pad that I used? Hello. Right here. Can you guys still see what I'm doing? Back at, you know what, I would like also all of, oh, look at all the little round of applause. I actually said give me a round of applause. Okay, so I would like all of our design team members to stand up and take a bow. And then sit down, because, again, you look ridiculous, too. Um, I would like, yes, I would like all of our design team members to introduce yourself, because I see that we have designers here. 
are Helmer Hotties. Let me tell in prior design team members and oh my goodness, guest designers. You know what, if you've ever just touched a Helmar bottle in your life, could you just stand up? <laughs> in fact, you know what, in fact, my dad has been a guest designer. Oh my goodness, Carrie is a Helmar virgin. Oh, we're going to have to, okay. Oh, okay, there we go. If you have even benefited any way, if Helmar has touched your life in any way, stand up. And you should all be standing up by now. I'm standing up. I'm bowing. <laughs> okay. I know. Beck is here. She is a Helmar designer. Okay. Who else? Oh. oh, Linda is a winner of Helmar. Oh, my goodness. Um, Doris is a guest designer and I believe, December. Oh, you know what? If we get the husband standing up, that's great, too. Tyler. Oh, there we go. Um, oh, my dad, his guest design for the company. <laughs> We're a family company, let me tell you. Okay. Oh, Beck. Beck is down under. Oh, uh, Mrs. Fence, yes. Oh, my God, I love it. They don't have um, Zutter. Oh, Zutter is a great company, too. Oh, Glue Dad has had uh, many, many a project. Okay, so, I, I mean, again, everybody's standing up, and we're not even paying attention to me. Let, let's all pay attention to me. Okay. All right, so here's our 450. And it's all ready to use because it's in the glue daddy caddy. Thanks to my daddy. Who any time now will be so happy when I cut that umbilical cord. But no plans immediately, Dad, so don't worry. I just ran a bead of that glue right along ooh, right along where I put those two pieces together. I am sorry, but these this color combination is making me so happy right now that I can hardly breathe. And when you can hardly breathe on a project, Good things are happening. Okay, we're going to just trim off the edges, and then I'm going to take the lighter to my project, which I know we all love to see me. Okay. All right. That ribbon I'm using, I don't know, Michael's, 25 cents or something. Ready? 450 is flammable. I do not recommend you try this at home. Okay. The only reason I'm doing that is it takes the edges of your ribbon, and it... um. And Justine, I just put a flame. That's funny. Um, <laughs> that's crooked. Oh, well. You know what? That is crooked. Is that crooked? All right. I don't know. It could be crooked. Okay. Okay. I don't care. Uh, okay. So, where's my original? We're going way off the beaten path. Okay, I'm going to go with my flower technique, which, you know, I know everybody has those expensive flowers that they love, and I love them too, but I love a budget. So, I'm using Michael's flowers that I plucked off a stem, and I'm just going to double them up. Oh, the other ribbon that I love. I, okay, I don't even know what this, oh, this is creative, Have, has anybody seen this ribbon? If you haven't, I don't know where you get it, but if you haven't seen it, it looks like leaves. Isn't that cool? It's by Creative Impressions. I happen to have this much of it. And no, for all of you who are about to say, send me some, I covet it. Look at that. See? Okay, so all I'm going to do is cut this right there. Okay, I'm going to glue that down with 452. Okay, get my zone is getting dirty. Okay, so all I'm doing is going to take this. Oh, hold on. I should work in the camera. Hold on, I'm going to get this some more light. Better? Okay. Oh, hold on. You want to open it. <laughs> basic concept of gluing, but, um, 
Um, hold on. Ooh. Not ready to glue yet. Calm down, glue. Okay, and all I'm doing is sticking it on the leaves. Okay. Hello. Get away from there. Oh, I. Okay. So all I'm doing is sticking this down. There we go. Right behind the leaves. And for all you smushers who like smush your glue down, gently pat your glue down. Be nice to your glue. I see lots of glue smushers when I teach. And they just smush and they smush and they smush. And then it starts to stick to their finger and they get super, you know, like, grouchy. And that's not good. Grouchy not good when you're gluing. Gluing and grouching don't go together. Okay? And if you've ever taken one of my classes, I'm totally not talking about you. Um, okay. Now I'm going to glue this. Now, th like I said, these are cheapo flowers. You could color them to match. You don't have to. These just came in this color. There's nothing magical about this. I'm just 450ing the hecko out of this. And this is going to need a second to set. So I'm going to answer any questions. Everybody's laughing. Oh, gal, I totally hope that people who have taken my classes are not thinking I'm talking about them. Because I'm not. Oh, I forgot to punch the holes in this. Yeah, we'll do it later. Might be punching a hole in my flower. So I'll just twist it around. There we go. I don't know how low the flower is. Wait a minute. I'm going to go lower. Just keep moving it around. I don't know how low the... Oh, that's about right. Okay. So let's see if I'm talking about you. Okay. Sorry, I wanted to have the kids walk the doggy. Okay. All right. So that one's down. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on the next one. I'm going to use our liquid scrap dots because I want to mention, I want this to kind of pop off the page because when you have a post-it note holder, you want everybody to know you have a post-it note holder, not just a post-it note holder, any post-it note holder, but the best one in town. Okay, where do you pick up the coasters again? Uh, any of your local bars, pubs, or breweries? <laughs> I should sell half the coasters I have and then I wouldn't have this problem. I think the people at Chili's think I'm like beyond belief crazy when I was stealing them there. <laughs> I should never be half as honest as I am in these classes. Okay. All right. And then, you know what the kids used to do? Mom, here's a coaster. They'd be yelling it in the restaurant. I'm like, okay, kids, shut up. Um, okay, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to light the end of this ribbon on fire, too. And hope I don't go up in flames. Okay. All right. Now, I don't know if you can tell that this, see, this is, like, thick. So I'm going to take a button. Quiet restaurant voices, glue kids. <laughs> I'd have the neighbors feeling them. Okay, so I'm in my stash of buttons. Ooh, that's a big old button. Ooh, maybe this one. Okay. So do you ever just want your button to be... Um, I love buttons. Like, I love buttons. I just love them. Margarita with the chips and salsa and 82 coasters to go, please. <laughs> okay. So on this button, because we're talking about some dimension here, I'm going to put liquid scrap dots, okay? And I'm just putting... Now, for all of you glue smushers, have you used liquid scrap dots? And I will tell you that if you cover up the S, that's funny. Okay, um, which somebody did in a picture one time, and people were emailing saying, can you tell me where to get the crap dots? Um, not good. Uh, anyway, 
if you've ever used, if you've not used these, they're a three-dimensional glue. They're a pop dot in a tube. They are the best thing ever. And this is one of the reasons I got hooked on this company. And, the, and I will tell you, too, if you've ever taken one of my classes and I start to say liquid scrap dots and I started to acronym that, it's LSD, which is just as addicting. So what I'm going to do is just place said button. Not smush. Place. Got it? Done. Becky likes liquid scrap dots. Okay. Got it? Done. Now, what are we going to do? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I wanted to show this. Okay, I love dew drops. I don't know if you guys know what dew drops are. These are dew drops. Those are by Robin's Nest. And I was just putting, I used to put like little, I don't know, I just think they're great little accents. But I think they make great little flowers. And our gemstone glue goes on white and it dries clear. So if it comes out and you make a mess, don't worry about it. Can you guys still see the project? Or am I working to be a candlelight? <laughs> Christina. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make a little flower right there. Okay, ready? This is good TV, isn't it? <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm just going to do this. Okay. Now, this goes on white. This, oh, it just burped right out. Okay, and you don't need to worry about it um, being around the edges like that. It will dry clear, I promise you. Have I lied to you yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, I think there are. Okay, this is washable, not the project, the glue, if you use it on fabric. Don't go washing a bunch of post-it notes and calling me and telling me they're not washable. I will laugh at your face, and trust me, I have had phone calls. Okay. You're all going, God, did I ever call her for something ridiculous like this? Yeah, don't wash your paper projects, please. I beg of you. Oh, hold on, I got glue on my fingers. <laughs> Come on, drop down. There we go. Okay. Now you see that little bit of glue that's in between? No worries, it will dry. Okay? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Are you guys happy? You're like, I'm happy. I, my mom's probably thinking, I'm happy I don't have to glue those gems down. I'd shoot myself. That's what she's thinking right now. Right, glue mom? I know she's thinking that. And glue dad is typing furiously with his carpenter fingers that are really thick, and he, it's just not going well for him. <laughs> okay, those are dew drops. They come in, oh, well, I'll show you what they come in. They come in a variety, look at that, of sizes, shapes, and colors. <laughs> okay. My mom is ordering the ready-made one. I think glue mom, I think glue mom wants to win this one, huh? Okay. So, I got to stuff all these back into this small little container. That's the Robin's Nest. If you haven't used those, they're really, really good. Really? Okay, hold on. I'm going to try and flip my lights on. I'm, I'm now having to work via candlelight, and it's not very comfortable. Okay. That is a lot of, it, well, dew drops, not dude drops. <laughs> D-E-W, Melissa. I am dangerously alone. I should be sitting here watching, listening to you guys. You're making me laugh. Okay. All right, how are we doing? Is anybody sleeping yet? It has glue dad checked in in the last um, 20 minutes. 
I'm a collector, not a user. Oh, do I like you, Jalen? <laughs> and whoever's name is Shmuda, I love that name. Okay, Melissa's awake. All right, Shmuda, my family is starving. Oh, gal, starving, schmarving. Okay. All right, is everybody happy with that? Now, I could do any number of things with this. I happen to have this little sign, which is not going to fit, so I can't do that. So I can do what I did on the other one and just write the word no. Oh, and I should show you how to stick this in. Stick it in. Okay, ooh, those are cool. Look at the out of print letters. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry, I'm just having a happiness moment right now. Mom, you're going to have to let me know which one you want. Okay. Oh my happiness. Oh. They're so cool because they have little out of print and that's their, I don't know. You know who turned me on to this? Oh, one of our designers. Hold on. I'm not really sticking those down. i got to make sure they fit. Okay. Okay. should always spell backwards. So we're finishing up the project with just the letters. See how perfect I can make these. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'll tell you the truth. I glue all my stickers down, too. I find stickers never stick, but that's okay. That's just me. I think I live in too a hot climate, so that... Hello. Okay. What do you guys think? Now, the great thing about these 4x4 coasters is this. <laughs> Look at the moron who forgot to. I vey. You guys don't. Oh, don't ever follow the teacher's example. She's an idiot. I had to take the flower off because guess what? You have to punch the holes. Okay, but rest assured, I have more glue and we'll just slap it back down there. Okay, and that was pretty down dry. Okay, that's okay. The teacher was not paying attention to her own project. Okay. No worries. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did somebody just say deja vu? <laughs> you know what? If I don't make a mistake in one of our projects, it's not even like it's a project. Okay. I don't know. Okay, if you guys don't have a zutter, you know, I mean, you don't have to. You can bind this up another way, I'm sure. But if you have a zutter, it's pretty darn cool. Okay. Oh, God, that is such a cool project. Okay. Oh, do I have this? Though? Wouldn't that be great? Oh, look at that. I even have a binder to fit that. Okay. So, our project is done. Make sure my flower is sticking down now that I just completely lifted it up. I'm not even, as you guys... Talk about my mistakes. Have to go out for dinner. Linda, where are you going? And then I'll let you know if you can go. Cindy Lou, I love it too. It really is a nifty little tool. <gasps> oh, Hobby Lobby, great. You know what, Christina? I I sporadically use it, but when I need it, it is just a great tool to have. My dad has uh, my dad taught me the right tool for the right job, so I never get my money's worth out of a tool. But I, I'll tell you this much: when I need that tool, by golly, having it makes a difference. Okay, so there is no big secret to how I stuck the post-it note th holder in there. But what I did was I take our uh, quick fix adhesive runner and this is some sticky glue okay now the other thing I did because I just want to make sure that it's okay I just want to make sure it stays in there is I'm going to glue the last page in there <laughs> there we go 
And then, okay. You guys, I like this better than the first one I made. Oh, whoops. Somebody taught me a secret with this bind it all that you bind it with the cover like so. I'm not, I'm not a great bind it all er. But then the binding, the inside seam is on the inside. Okay. And we're not dry, so I should be. Wait, it's dry, but nah. Why would I wait for that? Okay. And I never measure or nothing. I, I should always read directions on my tools, but I don't necessarily do that. I just bind it till it's tight. Mm. Okay, tight. Oh, happy. Look at that post-it note holder. What do you think? Oh, now, I will tell you, on a mini album, which I made right here, Do Something Creative Every Day, this is a class I taught. Nothing much different, only, you know, we didn't buy, we didn't have a zutter in the class, so I just did a ring. And um, this is uh, attached with liquid scrap dots. This is my motto. I have it printed on little, I have it on my wall. And I, I had, um, I had, what do you call it, rub-ons made for my wall. Just a reminder. And uh, nothing much different with this one, except for I twisted it around a little bit. What do you think? I'm getting clapped. I'm getting. Okay, hold on. And like I said, you might want to do the flower or do the the uh, binding before you go put the cover on. But we caught it, so it was all good. This is all going to dry clear. The liquid, you know, the great thing about this having this button too is look at this. I mean, there's so much dimension on this. And look at how pretty that pink post I'm gonna make I am gonna make post-it note holders <laughs> because I have enough coasters to do that. And we made that project all in 45 minutes. What do you think? And this is my motto. See, look, art helps me breathe. Isn't that a great? See, I did the same thing with the flowers right here with those du dude drops. And this page, I don't know. This was like an hour at tops. Oh, and look, I already have the next page started. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, I'm going to finish that page tonight too. Okay, uh, love the color. Mom, you have to tell me which one you want. Oh, Cindy, Cindy, this was the glue resist. I finished that page last night. If you guys caught this class, this is 450 quick dry, and then I painted over it and resisted the glue. I mean, it resisted the paint because it's a solvent-based glue. Um, Yeah, did it not turn out? I finished it last night, finally, I know. I've been busy. So um, this was a technique we did, what, um, Cindy, was that about two or three, week, three weeks ago, I think. So there's a video on this on um, Halmar's Ustream. And that's all done. And we started the next page. So I'm going to be finishing that. And I have got so many other things to tell you. So we're done, okay? We're done with this. And I think Glue Mom gets one. But I think that, you know, you fans are the best. So let's talk. <laughs> okay. Glue mom will get to decide what she wants because you know what? Until I cut that umbilical cord, I think I owe that woman. <laughs> let's do the after party. We still have 10 minutes in this hour, so let's chit chat. Anybody, I mean, you guys can go to bed or do whatever. I don't, I understand, but I'm going to switch cameras here. Give me a sec. And then I'm going to switch cameras again. Oh, okay. Hi. Okay, and I'm going to switch cameras one more time because I'm going to move this out of my way. I'm getting better with the camera switching, huh? It's not so, like, falling on your head sickening. Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch cameras one more time because it's a better camera. Okay. Oh my goodness, and I promised somebody something, and I'm not sure they're here. 
I promise to show our remove. So I'm going to do that in this last 10 minutes. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to pop the chat back up. Have we talked about the remove? And I, I haven't. Thanks, Linda. I got it on clearance today. Have we talked about remove? Was it you, Mrs. Fenn? I promised Melissa a gallon of 450. Do, do I have any other promises out there? Because I'm not sure. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Only Melissa. I, I Look at Jean's like, I think you promised me something, but I wasn't sure what it was. And I can't think that quick because I don't want to say something too big because I might not get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going back and checking what every one of you said. And I'm putting my hair up. Oh, we're still recording. I'll wait. Okay. Dad and Mom, any of the promises I made you? That's not going to happen. Okay. So, um, somebody asked me about remove, and I said, remind me in the next show, <laughs> Christina, remember Christina? I don't know if you guys did the, um, show me your Helmar, but uh, I did a picture, and there was a ton of Helmar products in my hair. I look like a Medusa with Helmar coming out of my hair, and, um, so somebody saw the remove can, and, oh, we had so much fun. I, I love stuff like that. Was that not a fun day? And Christina had no makeup on. Ah, uh, it was fun. <laughs> so I promised that I would show the remove. And basically remove, it smells like citrus. It's, um, it removes, it cleans all of your uh, work surfaces. It takes the sticky stuff off. If you guys have those, uh, I don't know if I have any. Okay, I've never changed this. Mine's clean. Um, it does smell good. If you guys have these um, Cricut mats, Silhouette mats, all that stuff, glass with price stickers on it, yes. And it smells citrusy, so it doesn't. it's not foul or anything. Oh, mine is sticky, and it's totally clean. Yes, Undo was stinky. It was stinky. Um, the other company was stinky. Um... Mine is perfect. I can't even demo on this because it's perfect. I've never replaced my Cricut mat. But I will give you a demo. Ready? Here's the demo. Shh. I don't wanna I don't wanna do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kids that leave stickers anywhere. I will not tell you a funny story about this. But what you wanna do is you wanna spray your mat and then if you have one of our, you know, cheapo um use it as an air freshener. I think right now my dad may be the only man that is online right now and and that would be like a dad comment, like a man comment. <laughs> yeah, this place ain't smelling so good. Okay. Anyway, um you sm you spray this whole thing and then you um or use a baby wipe and take it all off and then you use our V2 and you, oh, Hager's one. Okay. Okay. Um, you spray the whole mat with V2. It's as good as new. Okay. Oh, I just sang. So, I just want to tell you that somebody wanted me to demo it, and I took it to our last class. I clean, I clean everything with it. I, well, not everything, but... I did use it in a class the other day, and I did have <laughs> my musical. I could be in a musical. Right, Mom? I'm talented. If this glue thing don't pan out, I'm going to go right to the musicals. Okay, so this stuff is a spray. Um, here, I will demonstrate it. Ready? It sprays. Well, I mean, I don't want to spray it over my computer, but... Okay, ready? Smells like citrus. Wipe. Okay, my hubby cleaned his radial arm saw with it. Ooh, that is hot, Christina. <laughs> my dad, every time my dad comes, do you have any more of that removed? Oh, and um, another, uh, I have um, one of my friends is a roofer, and he goes, do you know that stuff takes tar off of everything? I didn't know that. 
Oh, Westcott scissors. I clean them with it. Um, all of my work surfaces, but I, I and I have a video. Um, you guys have to realize I hate video and I hate being in front of the camera. So, like, kind of right now, I'm pretending you're all in your underwear. It works for me. But um, the first video I did, I'll post a link. It's on YouTube. I'll find it. I should post a link to it. If somebody knows Helmar's YouTube thing and wants to go back to, like, day one, it was the first thing I ever posted on Helmar, and it's hideous. I think I cleaned the mat 82 times. I got to the last 2 by 2 square inch. And said, okay, like, this is the last take, and that was it. So, um, I absolutely hate every sense of referring people to that video. But to me, it's home. It's where I started. So, um, uh, this stuff is the best stuff. And I know that um, the retailers who are on here right now, I'm going to say Becky with Scraptastic, who's going to give her link again. And I know Christina, she carries it too. And if she doesn't, she will be. No, I'm sure she does. But I always sell these two together. I mean, I sell these two a lot together. Jean, love your underwear, sister. Okay. Oh, we're still recording. Darn it. Okay. Anyway, um, so let's do a giveaway. Giveaway, 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 giveaway. And I don't like doing giveaways. I mean, I love doing giveaways, but I hate giving away right here because I hate the numbers. I hate, um, okay, yeah, you're you're the winner. I like to do that random org thing and just go number whatever and or print. I print them all out. Yeah, Jean's like, just go to Facebook, Tracy. <laughs> Is anybody here for the first time? I'm wondering. <laughs> Is anybody here for the last time? I'm wondering. <laughs> Glue dad. I am. <laughs> I didn't even see that coming. Dad, if you know it's good for you and your checkbook, you'll keep supporting me. <laughs> oh, Leslie likes the Spartans. I'm a Spartan, Leslie. Leslie's from Michigan. I like the Michigan girls. Woo, woo. Right now, my son's sitting out there in the room going, Mom, nobody goes woo, woo anymore. Jean, you live in Ann Arbor. I think. So Jean is, wait, Jean is in Ann Arbor and like Janet's in. <laughs> no, Grand Rapids. Okay, it's the other way around. <laughs> Tanya, knock it off. Carrie's like, where do you want me to live? <laughs> Carrie lives in New Zealand, and she's typing as quick as she can. Oh, you guys are mean. Oh, Port Huron. I love Port Huron. Grand Blank. Wow, I got the Michigan crowd in tonight. Oh, I love it. Anybody play Euchre? Okay, I'm going to turn off the record button before I do, because we do the after show. Whenever you guys want to talk about, we'll talk about. Um, um, oh, Tanya. Um... So, um, a giveaway. I'm going to give something away. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to give some Helmar goodness away. I always like this because I love the love. I love our fans, and I love to, this is the best part of my job. If you could, coasters, <laughs> you go to Helmar's Facebook page, and you need coasters, you let me know. Um, if you can go to Helmar's Facebook page, and I will give you the link for those who don't know where it is. Okay. If you go there and, you know, just talk to me. Tell me what you liked about the show. You can tell me what you don't like about the show. <laughs> Make sure you're a fan, too. And, um... And I pick a random winner from there. I usually print up all the comments or I do that random org thing. Thank you, Cindy. I'm going to just flip off the record button. Oh, Justina has a question. Justina is raising her hand. Hold on, i got to go. Oh, question. She actually put the cue there. Go ahead, Justina. 
da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to flip off anything. Well, just the record. Melissa, my mother's here. Remember, you saw me with my mother. I'm always in my best behavior. Oh, my God. Okay, what do I use gemstone glue on? The question would be, what don't I use it on? Okay, I use it on clear beads, glass beads. You ever seen those um, big uh, glass, like, baubles that you can see through? If you put gemstone behind that, you'll be able to see the word. Like, it's like let's say you put it over a word. It dries clear. It is on, you can use it on fabric. So let's say you want to bling up your tennis shoes or bling up a canvas bag. Uh, it works on that and it's washable. It is good for plastic, glass beads, rhinestones, pearls, mirrors, doesn't cloud gemstone, is acid free, and that was me reading off the bottle. Uh, I have, oh, another great thing about gemstone glue, take a canvas. Okay, you ready? Take a canvas and spread this all over the canvas. And you can, like, use a roller on it if you want to spread it, you know, a lot. And um, put glitter all over it. Use your glitter and your gemstone glue. It dries clear. And it doesn't come off. Like, the glitter doesn't come off. Well, except for if it's not adhered to the glue. We just tap it off. And it works awesome. And it's a really inexpensive glue. Uh, can I use, stick the gemstones on a wine glass or something? I bet you that would work great. I would try it because it does say plastic, glass beads, rhinestones, uh, pearls, mirrors. Yes, I would try that. I wouldn't have a wine glass nearby. No. Uh that's a good idea. You know what? Oh, I, I need to show you guys something, but somebody made me something that is the bot. She put glass jet mint and used our glue on it, but it was really great. So, uh, and I, I mean, uh, clear buttons, anything else? <laughs> what else? What else have I used this on? It is, it is great. Oh, Christina has this in stock, too. I'm sure Becky does, too. It, it And it's inexpensive. I mean, oh, my goodness. And I, a little goes a long way. And the fact that it goes, okay, well, it's starting to dry. See, I put that around, and I goobered it around these um, dew drops. I, it was goobered around there, but you can't see. Cindy Lou has it and loves it. Acetate albums. I would try it, but I use our V2 on acetate. I love V2 on acetate. Oh, did I goober? Okay. Does it work well on acrylic albums? I use our V2 on acrylic albums. I use 450. However, with 450, you want to make sure you test it because on some acrylics, V2 is a solvent-based glue, and it will um, and it can react with some plastics. So be very mindful of that. It eats it. Yes, because it's a solvent-based glue, but. I would hazard to guess that gemstone would work perfectly. It is a water-based glue. It takes a little bit longer to dry. Remember things about glues. Melissa, I'm going to go back to your one-set glue. You get what you pay for. So if you're going to use a glue stick on things, and in five minutes it hits the heat, the cold, the anything, and comes off, that's, that's what you, you know, that's it. But in kindergarten... That doesn't matter. <laughs> Only now I've raised a bunch of kindergartners who are now going into fourth grade and they're glue snobs. But, um, yes, the, the thing about that is you do get what you pay for. And it, I go, it goes back to the right tool for the right job. People ask me all the time about 450 versus premium craft glue. 450 is a thicker based glue. It is more expensive. It is more specialized. It does not show through your fabrics and your, um, you know, rickrack and burlap and all those things, and it has its place. And, and f some, somebody said something one time to me that was so fun. It, they, 
is it Helmar worthy or 450 worthy? Do I want to do I want to do that? And um, and premium craft glue is a less expensive glue, less thick, but it totally um, it does similar things. But I would say that um, you know I use that as an all-purpose thing. No, uh, I'm Mrs. Fenz. I'm hanging in. Don't worry. Okay, found her birthday twin yet? Oh my God, Carrie. I need a birthday. There's no good people born on my birthday. May 4th. You got to find one for me. So, um, great questions. I love the questions about glue. This is, th these are really great questions. The gems, oh, and this is also, okay, I used to get stuff back from show displays that I've done for my design team. Oh, back. I work at CHA. I take all of my samples with me. I've been taking them since I started with Helmar. And I started with Helmar as a designer. And I used to take my stuff and we put them up under those hot strobe lights. And it would not come down. So that's something that really does tell you about, I can go back to some of my pre-Helmar layouts and things are falling off. And it is true. It depend and I live in a very hot climate, so people need to be conscientious of that. People don't think about it, and I, I, I get many who say, especially here, you know, that you, we, we're, we're, we are, um, it is very hot and dry. Uh, we are all grown up as kids, you know, we're all raised as kids to use one glue as kids. And it, it's tough to say that, um, you, you know, like that's our biggest competitor and stuff, but you, you don't want your stuff falling apart. And I, I do have to say one thing, and I will say about this, the acid-free glue was originally a bookbinding glue, and it is meant not to come apart. So, um, I'm very proud about where we work and I think glue sticks have a place in a day I used to use them oh but when things started falling apart that's a bum that's a bum wrap I used to give my kids the glue sticks I mean you know I'm raising glue snobs now but they can do that but I do know now there are a lot of wives who um oh Audrey Hepburn thank you Jean <laughs> it's my birthday I do have to say Acid-free glue is a really inexpensive glue, and I give this to my kids to say, here you go, do your projects. Um, would I hand them for 50 Heck no, because I'm like, hey, you know. But my daughter, like I said, she is a, a, an art aficionado, and she just wants to play and experiment. So, yeah, when she, I'm, supervi you know, I'm supervising what she's doing by all means. The gemstone glue, she was attaching all those um, gems on her home, her styrofoam home with gemstone glue so it, it is um, you, you do get what you pay for I have to say sometimes when we're competing with the one cent glue stick but um, you get what you pay for and my dad always used to say the right tool for the right job and if the glue stick works that's fine Okay, so I'm going to say, it's, uh, I'm going to turn off the record button because we've gone over a little bit, but I'm going to stay on. And I want to thank every, okay, and I will answer any more questions you guys have. And I have a, you know. So I want to thank everybody for coming by. Hi, <laughs> <I> glue kid. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hit the uh, stop record button.